Hi, this is Abby from AnyType. This video guide is for you if you're curious about cultivating a creative community space using AnyType. A short while ago, I began an editorial project using AnyType, taking the form of a field guide to Berlin. And today I'd like to walk you through the process in which I approached my space and the features that I became most fond of. Evidently, I'm having a bit of an ASCII cow energy moment. I immediately can see that I've been leaning into the language and layout of printed editorials. The widgets here can be felt as columns, with each article or section composed of a series of custom object pages like bookshop, cafes and bakeries, architecture, and more. Keats to Keats is a neighborhood hopping navigational tool whereby I created a set and transformed it into a collection. This area allows users to browse through the different neighborhoods and create their own itinerary suited to their geographic or locale. Similarly, this is also how I edited the Pathways and Portals collection, essentially borrowing the format of a table of contents through a gallery layout. Notice here that I decided to enlarge the card size to include the cover image within each object, along with the relevant tags and relations. Which leads on to another navigational tool. Archetypes and Quests is inspired by Choose Your Own Adventure games. Users here can filter their guide based on a series of custom themes. Rather than being a collection or set in itself, this page is made up of a series of smaller collections specific to a more nuanced, intelligent, and entirely subjective trail. For example, for the poets, simply a collection of articles that contain the tags tender and sensory. Joining the poets are the botanists and bookworms through botanical delights and literary trail. Beyond these core widgets on the left are the columns themselves. Architectural scapes and historical sites, Berlin cinematic, bookshops, cafes and bakeries, festivals, health and wellness, and museums, galleries, and cultural centers. Within these columns are further tables of contents containing articles. There's so much scope to be playful here with the format and customization of your cards. I like to make good use of color and glyphs as a way to be expressive. The article pages look something like this. Each column has its own template made from scratch or borrowed from the AnyType library. At the top of each page are the essential pieces of information with their relevant tags and relations. To create something similar, you can simply pull the data from the relations key in the top right corner of the screen into the page, which is an especially satisfying and attractive feature to me. Always be sure to properly credit your media sources where appropriate. As a signifier for this, I particularly like using the highlight text style below or above each image. For further references and bibliographies, I prefer to keep things clean and graceful by tucking these into a toggle list at the bottom of the page. This can be opened up as if it were an envelope, like so. I hope you enjoyed this guide, plus the incidental bird songs and soundscape of the garden in the background. Thank you for being here.